20 billion dollars of costly new spending. This update can be summed up very simply. Prices up, rent up, debt up, taxes up, times up. Common sense conservatives will vote non-confidence on this disgusting scheme. A year ago, this finance minister told the House she'd have the budget balanced by the year 2028. In that time, she has announced $100 billion of additional debt above and beyond having doubled that debt in the first place. This debt is already being paid by Canadians with the worst inflation in 40 years, with interest rates that risk a mortgage meltdown on the $900 billion of mortgages that will renew over the next three years. That's two-thirds of mortgages with the IMF saying that of all 40 OECD countries, Canada is the most at risk of a mortgage crisis. And now, her solution? Another $20 billion of inflationary spending. This after the Governor of the Bank of Canada has said that deficits are adding two full percentage points to mortgage rates on the backs of Canadians.